laughing because I think my process is sort of a um, by whatever means necessary sort of approach. So when somebody asks me what I do, um, it's not really a simple answer. I have sort of a design practice, I have a fine art practice, and I have a practice of writing about my work. I, I really think about the idea first, and I think about what type of experience I want the viewer to have. Um, and so that if that experience involves objects, then I will make objects. If that experience involves maybe a narrative that can be captured in video, I will make a video. If, the, uh, if I want the viewer to experience something in real time or in, uh, in physical real time with two bodies, I'll do a performance. The sort of performative track in my work uh, could be uh, exemplified by a piece that I did in 2007 collaborating with a gentleman called Jeffrey Cudlin. Our sort of uh, idea was that we would create a, a married couple who were navigating through uh, this fictional art movement called the Washington Body School. And that piece was really a way for us to sort of investigate some of the ways that uh, the art market is shaped by discourse and how discourse comes out of the art market. Birds of a Feather represents uh, a tendency in my work to work with abstract forms, forms that can't be definitively referenced to correspond to, a, to an object. In that piece, I used a piece of custom software that I wrote to take bird genomes off the internet and then sort of re, uh, reorganize them into printable objects. From my perspective, I'm really interested in recontextualizing digital and textual experience as something that you can experience with the body and experience physically. I think it's a really uh, important way of kind of bringing the conversation back to why, how technology serves us and what we need from technology rather than what technology needs from us. I think that in some ways it's really about giving people access to technology through knowledge creation. And uh, rather than saying that uh, all you need to do to leverage technology is to buy in, which I think that that's a, a really problematic model. There's this collaborative work and my sort of personal work has really been revolving around growth cycles and uh, growing things. Thinking about this idea of growing as a type of performance and uh, the sort of social political issues that are involved in agriculture and horticulture and how those issues touch on multiple discourses like you know there could be a gendered discourse embedded in that there could be a technological discourse there's obviously an environmental discourse embedded in it. I'm highly resistant to classification um, and I suppose you could say just generally resistant. 